hi you guys and welcome to the next video it's been so long since i uploaded a video on here but that's why i wanted to come on here and just kind of do a little get ready with me i wanted to show you guys how i did my hair and my makeup for a recent event that i went to so a little update the hubby has been very involved with like nfts lately and he's kind of slowly gotten me into nfts and so i had gotten uh, an invite to go to it's called like the women tribe nft so i went to their nft event last week in la i drove up there for like i drove in like la traffic for like three hours but anyways it was so worth it because i got to meet a lot of the people in like real life i guys i'm such a newbie in nfts so um if you guys have any questions or anything like that on nfts leave them the comment down below and i'll kind of like talk with brandon about it and i can kind of like share them with you but anyways i, I love this one group women tribe group um, it's the artwork everything um the community they are just like amazing i love their community especially but going to the event and just like meeting a lot of the people in real life was just amazing and i got so excited but i did like a couple of tiktoks on it and i got asked like how i did my hair and like my makeup so that's why i'm going to go ahead and share how i created this look this is even this is like actually the top that i wore too yeah i'll share everything everything will be linked down in the information box down below so be sure to check that out down there so yeah let's just go ahead and just get this video started first thing that i do is i prime my face i'm using i use the tula face filter blurring and moisturizing primer um, of course I did like my skincare, my breakouts have kind of resolved so you can kind of still see the hyperpigmentation here and um, my eczema has been flaring up too so I don't know if you can kind of see it a little bit here. It usually happens like right above my eyelid and then I go in with my brows. So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze and then I just grabbed her number, I think this is like the number 7 little spoolie, double end spoolie, but I just grab a scoop and then I just comb it into the hair. I did a brow soap tutorial on my previous videos and, so, and I saw that Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with their brow freeze and then pa Patrick Ta also came out with his, which I do have it too. I think it's like a brow, what is this, brow wax? I'm almost like gone with it, but I've been loving his one too. But for event, I use the brow freeze and then I just kind of comb it upwards like that. And then while that's all up, I just kind of press it down. She has a actual spoolie tool that you would use because the other end is a flat end and you just kind of use it to flatten the hairs down. But what I do is I just comb it into my hairs, brush it up like this, and then I just use the flat end of it and I just press it down. So it gives the same, <laughs> gives the same effect. Then once I kind of brush all the hairs up, I grab her brow powder. I've been loving this one. This is the um, Brow Powder Duo in Ebony. And then I just start filling in all the sparse areas. I've shared this before, but I have my brows are actually powder ombre. And so it helps. I, I love it because it just helps me guide where my brows need to be. And then I don't have to put anything on my brows if I'm just like running errands or just like um going to work you know everyday kind of stuff but I have been just like loving this whole like feathered brow look that's what I do my brow so that's what it looks like before and then here is the after okay so I thought I would share how would how I would use the Patrick Ta brow wax it's the tinted one too he has like a clear one and then a tinted one 
But what I do is I just kind of grab a setting spray and I just spray the spoolie. I just use the same spoolie that I did with the other one. And then I basically just grab, scratch it in there so that it gets, it gets like a bunch of the product. And then I just comb it onto the brows. And it pretty much does the same thing. See? And then I'm just going to fill it in with the brow powder and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I feel like between the two, if you were to kind of like choose between the Patrick Ta Brow Wax versus the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Freeze, I do like the wax a lot better. It kind of works just like the soap in, in that like it really grabs on to my Asian hairs. But I do like the Anastasia Bra uh, Beverly Hills Brow Freeze still. It does help to like bring up the hair but I do with the Brow Freeze you do need to like push it down in order for it to actually like stay put. Otherwise if you keep like combing it through it does will it'll tend to kind of like fall down. Um, but anyways, I do like both of them. I'm still playing with them a little bit more. I've been using the Patrick Ta Brow Wax a lot more, so I'm much more familiar with it. But anyways, they're both good. I, I love them both. I honestly would rec more recommend the Brow Wax for any Asian hairs. <laughs> now we're going to go to the face. So I use the Fenty Beauty. I've had this like forever. I think I probably had this for like a year now. So I probably need a new one, but look how much there is left in there. I like barely use it. I only use it if I'm really going to do like major full coverage. But anyways, I have it in the shade 300. My pump is broken. <laughs> but anyways, I just grab this and then I just put it on my arm. Do like a little pump on my hand and then I grab a beauty blender and then I just spread it all over. <laughs> So what I like about that is that it's pretty much a full coverage just depending on how many layers that you want to put on. Just did like one thin layer. I almost forgot. Always do my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask the very beginning before I even do my makeup. So definitely restocking up on this baby. Okay, so I totally forgot to mention this. But usually when I have breakouts, I do, I put on the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage. I have it in the shade Rich. I usually put it on the areas that I have any breakouts. But these ones are already kind of like pretty much resolving. So I'm just going to use my regular concealer to cover it up. But definitely love this thing for my breakouts because it has salicylic acid in it to help with the breakouts. Okay, so now for my under eyes, I start off with the Tarte CC Cream CC Corrector Under Eye Cream and I have it in the shade Medium Tan. It's like pretty much almost gone. I have a fresh new one here. That's the shade I'm in. It's in Medium Tan, but I'm going to finish up the one that I still have. A little bit underneath my eyes just to help cancel out the darkness. I had like my eczema was like really bad. It was all up here. Sorry, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to like flick you off, but it's all it was like all up here. It was up here. It was so flaky. And then I even had right here um underneath my eye, which is which actually kind of resolved a little bit because I've been uh, like putting extra moisturizers on there and really just kind of like exfoliating my face. I think it's still kind of a little bit there, but it's not that bad. There, you see how it like, kind of like brightens up your eyes? And I just do concealer. All right, you guys, sorry, my battery died on my camera. So I'm using my phone right now. But anyways, I'm going to use this one. It's the Patrick Ta Lamination Gel. It looks like this, where it has like the brush on one end and like that flat end here. I like it to really just hold down the brows. And just keep it in place so it doesn't move and it doesn't budge sometimes with the brow freeze it doesn't really quite stay so it needs something to like really keep it put which is why I like Patrick Ta's uh, lamination gel and this device thing because it kind of holds it 
holds it down in place. But the thing with this though is you have to be, I feel like you have to be like really quick because when it sets, it sets like it literally stays put like all day. Okay, so now let's talk about concealer. This one is from Clinique. It's the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I love this one for like the spring and summer when it gets nice and hot because I usually don't like to put on a lot of makeup. I just put on, I just kind of like spot conceal and then put some powder and then like I'm done. But these ones are my favorite. I have it in two shades. I have it in the Golden Neutral and then Honey Wheat. The Golden Neutral is like a little bit lighter just to kind of brighten up the center of my face and then the honey wheat is my actual like shade color so I like using this most to just kind of like spot conceal my face so this one is the honey wheat and the honey wheat I just kind of do a little like that same thing here just do some swipes here and then I like to like spot conceal with this one too so I'll put it here where I have some hyperpigmentation here and then I have some right here and then I have some I'll just like a little bit right here too just a little bit all right and then I'll grab the lighter shade and I'll just go right in between these ones just to brighten up underneath and then I'll put a little bit here too just to brighten that up here too <laughs> all right and then I grab my beauty blender and then just blend it all out okay so I popped some powder underneath my eyes just to kind of like set it the powder that I have, they no longer sell. The powders that I do love is the Laura Mercier Setting Powder. That one is really good. And then also the one from um, Patrick Star, the one size, his one size powder. That one is really good too. We're gonna go to the eyes. I'm gonna first like powder the eyes just to kind of put a little base on it first. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I'm just gonna put my eyes really quickly. A lot of people like to use like concealer to put on there just like as a base, but I don't like using that because, I don't know, I just don't like putting too much stuff. But anyways, for my eyes, what I did for my eyes, I use the Patrick Star One Size Visionary Palette. I think it's still on the Sephora sale and it was like on sale when I had purchased it. I think it's still on sale right now, but I love this and I love, I especially love like this blue color right here, which is why I got it because you have to have like some kind of pop of color, right? The main ones that I used were these right here. It's Soft Serve, Booked, Brownie, Everything, and then Walnut. Will not strut. I'll dip into these two right here and I'll use it for like my crease. I just use like a big fluffy blending brush which is actually from I believe it's from Sephora. Yeah it's their pro crease brush. Compared to like the big blending brush I got like just like a little bit smaller one and I go into the shade brownie and then this one, I just kind of focus it at the, at the like the last, the tail end of my lid. It's good to have like a, just like a clean one, a basic clean one, just to blend everything seamlessly see how it like the brown the darker brown it kind of gives it a little bit more dimension and then for the lid i just used this one um everything and i just use my finger my ring finger grab it there and then i just i just focus it right in the center and then i just kind of blend it in towards the middle i keep it right on the lid so and then i grabbed a pencil brush and then I dip into Walnut Strut. I focus on the inner corner. And I just kind of blend it, it towards the center. 
And that's it, you guys. And then I just put on a liner. Okay, so I just popped on a liquid liner really quickly. The one that I used is actually from the drugstore. Um, but I probably would recommend the Kat Von D one. I actually have in the brown, which I do like using for like, it's just more subtle look. I don't do liquid liners all the time, just whenever I'm like really like dressing up. But anyways, yeah, I popped on the liquid liner and then now I'm going to do my mascara. This are my, my lashes. You guys, if you need a lash curler for all my Asians, get the Shiseido one. It's like, it's the best. This is, I've had this for like years. I love this one. It just fits my eye shape like perfectly. And then this is the mascara that I use that I like absolutely love and I would highly recommend. It's the Art to See Surfer Curl Mascara. It's a clean mascara, which I love. Popping on the mascara and then I'm going to put on my lashes. I use the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. I'll link where I found these ones down below. It's dramatic, but it's like less dramatic kind of lash for me. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then I also use the House of Lashes Glue, which I'll link that one down below too. This is my absolute favorite for whenever I put on any kind of false lashes. Okay, so while the lashes are kind of like drying, the glue is drying, I figured I'd just kind of do the little lower lash just to show you what I do. So I grabbed this type of brush. It's like a short little stubby <laughs> brush and I dip into brownie just a little bit and then I just go right at the outer third of the lower lash line and then I'll just dip in a little bit into the other two that I use for my crease. To blend it out or like smoke it out a little bit more and then I'll put some mascara on the lower lash line and then we'll put on the lashes voila time to do the other side and I'll be right back all right guys eyes are done and we're gonna go back to the face right now so I'm gonna go back to my Charlotte Tilbury flawless finish powder oh the, I don't think I mentioned it before but the shade that I'm using is a medium is medium so I'm just using like a little powder brush. I'm just using it to kind of swipe away that loose powder that I put and then dip into the powder and then I just kind of tap 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 just to brighten up the under eyes like so. Doing it like down the middle too. Brighten it up here on my nose here too and right underneath here. All right so now for cheeks this is like my most used products for like my cheeks. It's the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte. It's more like a blush than it is like a bronzer, but I love just using it on my cheeks for like an everyday. But I did use this one for the event. This is Sunkissed right here. You can see it's like a little bit more bronzy looking. And then the Beach Babe is right here. It's more rosy, rosy tone. So the one that I used for the event, it was Beach Babe. And a little goes a long way to you guys. So I just pop it right at my cheeks. And then I love that it has like the brush at the other end. So I just use the brush to blend it all out like so. And then I just kind of bring it, uh, whatever is like left to the front of my apples and my cheeks. Because lately they said, put your um, cheek products like a little bit higher and it like lifts your face up. So that's what I've been kind of doing. <laughs> Trying to keep up with the trends, you know what I mean? But yeah, it just kind of gives it like that subtle flush, which I love. And then for bronzer, I use this one. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. It's actually a face powder. It's a radiance face powder, but it looks like a very subtle bronzer which I absolutely love. It's by Laura Mercier. It's their Matte Radiance Fake Powder in Bronze 04. And I just grab like a little big fluffy brush and I just bronze all over where you would normally kind of like bronze your face. You guys know I love contouring my nose. This is like my favorite contour powder that I use for my nose. I don't like using this for like my face because I feel like it's a little bit ashy looking, which is why I like the Laura Mercier, Mercier like face powder because it just kind of gives like a subtle glow 
to the face and I just grab a little bit more of a thicker one that I use for like my under eye but a bit a little bit bigger than it and I just grab a little bit of that and I follow the contour of my nose and I just kind of slim it down so I start at the tip of my brow and then down I know it looks kind of crazy right now but I'll blend it out after and then it's hard, kind of hard doing it like on the camera and then I'll just grab my the brush that I use for my setting powder and I'll just blend it out the edges to kind of diffuse it a little bit more but like so and then if I need to like blend it down a little bit I'll blend it down I just like slims the news there and then I'll just put a little down here just to shape it up a little bit but that's that's it okay so for my cheeks uh, I like to put a little bit of, of extra blush just to kind of bring out the cheeks a little bit more I use this one by benefit this is like a set that I got from like one of the holiday sets but this is the they have they sell this one separately it's the benefit rocketure I love it it kind of goes really well with the uh, nude sticks cheeky bronzer but I just pop on I just use like a little big fluffy brush and just pop it on the apples on my cheeks and just blend it back hey okay, guys almost done I'm gonna set the face I'm gonna use the all uh, um, urban decay all nighter setting spray I love the urban decay all nighter setting spray because it just keeps my makeup like stay put all night so lips one of the lip liners that i do highly recommend that i love like a nude lip is this one i love this one this is the urban decay 24 7 glide on lip pencil the my shade for my lips is naked too it's like the perfect nude so lip liner you see it's just like the perfect nude and it's like I love it but anyways I also got this one recently it's the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip the one that I used for the event was coconut this is so moisturizing I love like a good moisturizing lip I'm not too I'm not like a big fan of like matte lips because my lips get like super dry I love like a good nice moisturized lip this is in the shade coconut you just click the bottom and then it'll start it'll kind of like pop up on the top and that's it all right you guys let's do the hair really quickly so the prop the tool that i use is the t3 curling iron so it comes with three different size heads and then this I guess the heater part of it so the one that i'm using is a larger barrel it comes with two other barrels which i'll show you here right here so it comes also comes with like a little travel bag too the one that i used for the event was the one one and a half inch barrel i like these ones that come with the a clip on there because i'm not super skilled at doing like the red like the twist <laughs> type of curls I like doing my curls using the clips right here and then these are the other two that it came in so this one is the one inch and then this is the 1.25 inch barrel I love the t3 curling irons and I love like this big one because it gives me like just like the natural wave curls that I absolutely love so let's start doing this some products that I did use this one this one and then the way oil hair oil i love using hair oil especially like on the tips of my hair just to kind of bring back that moisture but anyways for my hair that i'm going to use i'm going to use this one it's the bumble and bumble hairdresser invisible oil it's a primer for your hair so i just spray it all over my hair before i curl it i washed my hair yesterday so this is why so that's why my hair looks it's not like tame it doesn't look put together at all I also did you guys I also did a TikTok because I found a white hair let me see if I can find it here Honestly, I did like a TikTok because I found this white hair I was like brushing my hair this morning I was like oh my god can you see it it's like right there oh my god you guys that's my very first 
white hair that I have. <laughs> like, I was like in shock. So yeah, just shows that we're getting old. <laughs> and then I just kind of like divide my hair. So I start off with the bottom half and then I just curl all the way around. And then here, I like to do it. So you can actually adjust the settings. You can adjust it here, go up to the lowest and up here. I like to do it on the highest setting. <laughs> so I just grab, I like to curl away from my face. And then I just curl, I leave a little bit at the ends out like so. Curl, leave it for a little bit, just for like 10 seconds and then I just like pull it straight out. I leave it alone so that it just like cools. And then move on to the next. So we're just gonna fast forward this part real quick. Okay guys, so we're coming up to the top portion of the hair. I'm very particular <laughs> with a top because of how it's gonna lay on my face. So you see how I'm kind of like going away from the face. I do it all throughout my hair because I like how the curls like fall when they're falling like away from my face. When I come towards like towards my face, this is the part where I will do like the twist like the twist around the barrel like so um, that way the hair when it falls down it's kind of gives like a little bit of a flip i guess you could say <laughs> cool and then i just let it fall but you see how when it comes down it just just goes away from the face which i like i don't like it going in my face when it curls the other way okay so coming on to this side so same way except I do the opposite, the opposite direction. And I grab here. And I like it when it when I do the curl coming up like this because when it like kind of lays down, it gives a little bit of that lift to the front of the hair, which I like. And then we're just kind of kind of let it let it all cool a little bit. And then I'm gonna brush it through and then show you how I like style it. Okay, as I was like doing my hair, I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit. But I totally forgot about my highlighter. You guys, how did I forget about that? <laughs> Anyways, highlighter. Use the Becca the Shimmering Skin Perfector. The one that they have at, uh, they don't sell at Becca anymore, which I don't know why, but anyway, they do have the Smashbox X Becca like collab. So they still have this one. It's the Champagne Pop. I still, you guys, I still do highlighter. I like still do that from like when, I don't know when it was, but I just got like the little highlighter brush and then just tap it here and highlight the cheeks, a little bit on the brow bone, give it a little bit of a pop and go right down on my nose. And I do like to put a little bit in the corner of my eyes too, just to give it a little bit more of a highlight. You see, like so, and then sometimes I'll even put like a little on the top just to give it some highlight there. I think it should be cooled by now, but I just kind of comb it through, look through the pieces and see if there needs to be any parts that need uh, like extra curling or recurling. But it looks pretty good. I don't like it to be super, super curly, which is why I like that big barrel because you see it gives just like that loose the loose curl kind of look. And then what I like to do is I grab the oil and I just do like, you know, two pumps of it and then rub it in my hands, but I'll just put it in the ends of the hair, bring back a little bit of the moisture to it. So and I just kind of scrunch it like that here. So I'm just, just grab a texturizing spray, um, whatever texturize, like your favorite texturizing spray. This one is the AG Hair Care Tossled Texture Spray. And I just spray to give it a little bit of oomph. Um. 
like so and that's it so all right you guys here is the final look i even popped on the top that i wore for the event right here i'm still wearing my like house shorts but this is the top that i wore for the event it's by abercrombie i don't think they have this link because when i had gotten it it was on it was like on their clearance section or like the sale section but they do have a bunch of other prints and stuff like that so i'll link some of the similar ones that they have i love these types of tops that have like the, has like the puff sleeves and i like the top cinched here i'm not wearing a bra you could wear like a strapless bra but this is the back the back has like a little um ruching here which i love so it's super easy i have it in a size small yeah, this is what i wore too during for the event i this is my goriana it's like they're mini um, dog chain necklace it actually just comes with one but i had purchased two because i like i wanted to wear both of the girls initials on my neck so that's why i had gotten two and then all i did was just pop on the other one on this this current necklace it has like three sizes so you can make it longer if you wanted to if you wanted to kind of like layer the necklaces but this one i have it just like on the shorter and so that I'm just wearing, this is like the only necklace that I'm wearing. That's it. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video from me. But anyways, have a good rest of your week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.